We usually tend to have tight and busy schedules, and due to that, we tend to leave God to one side and spend little time with Him. The consequence of this is that we start to walk away from God and feel that He is distant. But the fact is that He has said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1 verse 5. So He is there. It's just us who fails to see Him. Also, because we are living slightly apart from God, we will have the tendency to allow the trials and worries to push us down, drowning us in our concerns and fears, forgetting of who God is in our lives. I believe that the answer to this problem is in James chapter 4 verse 8. Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. I think that this scripture is simple and speaks for itself. To draw near to God requires that we spend time alone with Him. In other words, it is our responsibility to do something about it. The more time we spend with God, the more we will be able to see His greatness and His power working through us. To finish, I will just share a short story. One day, whilst father and son were taking a walk along the beach, the kid asked his father, Daddy, how big is God? The father, puzzled and not knowing how to explain this to his son, looks to the sky and at a distance he sees an aircraft. So he tells him, God is like that aeroplane. The kid looks up at where his father pointed, thinks for a bit, and slightly disappointed, he says, oh, it must be very small, because you can hardly see it. The father looks at his son, smiles and takes him to the airport where after speaking with some friends he manages to go inside with his son and stand beside an aircraft. He then asked his son, how do you see it now? The kid, astonished by the size of the structure, he shouts, it is massive dad! At this point the father grabs his son and holds him in his arms and says, Son, that is how God is. His greatness and power in your life will depend on the distance you place between Him and you alone. The closer you live to Him, the bigger His greatness and power will be in you. So the question is, how big is God for you? Hi guys, well, we've come to the end of the video and if you have enjoyed it and you would like to see more of them, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and God bless you.